Hi, Jeffrey Langloy, Langloy's Vital Nutrition Center here in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Uh, my mission is to help you get smarter, and I like to get smarter, take better care of me so I feel better, enjoy a higher quality of life, live till I'm 100, and then drop dead, or 120. Okay, so uh, little videos on things that I find. Okay, so I enjoy a tomato sauce. It definitely comes up in cooking. And one of the big problems with tomatoes, it can bother people. It can bother their joints. So what will... Why, why has this been in the news? You may have heard Dr. Gundry and the plant paradox and the toxins found in tomatoes and how they can cause a lot of joint problems. We have had clients get upset stomachs from tomatoes. So you're like, well, wait, the Italians eat tomatoes and tomato sauces like every day on everything. So, but if we, if we travel to Italy and we look, this is an imported Italian tomato sauce from Italy. So they generally use a plum tomato which is low seeds, and they always peel the tomatoes. So where are the toxins? There's toxins in every plant. So plants have to protect themselves by producing toxins. Animals protect themselves by fighting you or running away. Plants have to produce internal toxins so that the, the bugs and the insects or the animals don't continue to eat the same plant over and over. So in Italy, they, if you talk to a true Italian that's, you know, born there or goes back there and visits family, they strain their tomatoes. And it says right here on the label that this is made, are picked um, Italian strained tomato sauce. Okay. So um, strained Italian Strained Italian pear-shaped tomatoes. Pear-shaped tend to have less seeds, so less toxins right there. And strained means they're taking the skin off. So when I eat this, if I, I love to make chili in the wintertime. This is imported. Now, it's not organic, okay, so that would be a knock against it. I generally am, feel much safer about things from overseas. Um, a lot of times people will go, travel to Italy and they say, gee, I can eat the pizza and it doesn't bother me. They don't have all the chemicals in the food. Um, I know a friend who um, is an importer for uh, uh, Greek uh, olives and olive oils. And he said, now this is in Greece, but he said it's, it's all organic. He said, we would never dream of spraying our olives with chemicals. So even though it's not labeled organic, um, olive oil from this friend of mine's company, it is organic because they would never dream of spraying it. When you get the organic label, then you pay extra, which sometimes you should pay extra because you want to make sure it's organic. But anyway, this is imported. It's strained. This is what I use on my, uh, when I'm always looking for a strained tomato sauce. And you can find them, but they're hard to find. They're usually on the top shelf somewhere or on the bottom shelf. Um, okay, there you go. There you can make a good tomato sauce, uh, your chilies or whatever you like to make with tomato sauce. Or you can buy a tomato strainer. They're very simple, just maybe 20 bucks. And you can actually take the seeds and the skin off your homegrown tomatoes if you want to make salsa at your house. Okay, so remember, you got to keep score somehow. You got to either do your hair test. Ta-da. You got to measure your blood sugars. Those are easy to do at home. Get your food sensitivity screenings done. Simple things. Get your heart sound recorder done. These are simple ways of improving your health at a very low cost so you can optimize and maximize your years here on the earth. Okay, I'll see you on the next video.